Okay, track mats. This is something that confused me so much in After Effects, and I, I'm gonna make a more in-depth video on it, but based on the timeline, this is how you use them. So I have this shape layer right here, this funky hexagon sort of thing, and what I wanna do is I wanna apply a texture to that. So I could do this in a couple of ways. So I have this texture on top. It's just the cinders effect that's a preset that's built into After Effects. You could use anything. But I wanted to overlay this texture on this shape layer. So how do I do that? Well, the first way I would do it personally is with preserving the transparency. So let's just duplicate these layers really quick and then put them on top and we'll set this to like label color yellow so we know what we're working with. Now we'll pre-compose this control shift C and we'll call this preserve trans PC. All right, and then we'll go into that pre-comp and we have our texture here and our shape layer below it. So what we're gonna do now is just hit this button on the texture and then it will basically apply the texture onto the shape layer. Anything that has transparency will go away. It just goes away. So if we turn off this, this entire composition has no background except for this shape layer. So let's just set it to like a darker color so we can see it. So yeah, there's the shape layer. And then if we hit the preserve transparency button, which is right there, indicated by on, and then just turn it on. Hey, look, but if we turn that layer off below it, it's not there. So that's how I would do it. The other way is like this. So let's just delete that pre-comp now. And we have this texture that's on top. And if we hit the preserve transparency, because there's other layers below it, including like my background and my other text, they're locked at the moment. But if I were to preserve transparency, or at least try to, because there's data and information behind it, it's not gonna do that effect. So what we do now is we set the texture below the shape layer. So now the shape layer is on top, and then we select the texture and go to the track mat. Now the track mat is pretty much the same thing, but it looks for the alpha channel of the thing above it. So we'll set this to alpha mat. And hey look, the texture is there again. So what this is basically saying is, okay, I'm a texture, what's above me? It's like cookies, basically. Have you ever made gingerbread cookies? You have to make a sheet of dough first, your texture, and then you have to use your cookie cutter and cut out your shapes. So the shape on top is this shape layer. Could be a gingerbread man if you wanted to, could be, I don't know, a, a circle, a square, a triangle, whatever you want. So that's your cookie cutter that's on top. Now if we set it to alpha inverted mat, it will say, okay, I want to not show, I want to basically show what is not showing above me. So it's like whenever you make that cookie cutter and you pull out the shape like that gingerbread, whatever is left on the table from that cookie dough, that is your inverted mat. Now, we have two more features. We have Luma Mat, which is basically going to look at the white above on the layer above and be like, okay, if you're white, I will cut you out. And if you're anything else, I will not. So if I were to go into the shape layer and let's say set it to, I don't know, blue, for example, it's gonna do some weird thing because it, it, it's looking at the luminance of that layer. So let's just like, Yeah, it's doing some funky things. So Luma will look at the luminance of the pixels above and be like, I will show if depending on how bright you are. And then it's the inverse for the Luma inverted mat. So if anything is white, it will basically cut out the white parts on the layer above it. So let's just do that. And hey, look, same exact thing. So you do your track mats by setting the layer above it and that's your cookie cutter layer and then your texture will cut out based on what's above it. So I hope that makes sense. I'll make a more detailed video on track mats and Luma mats with cookies. But for now, I hope this gets you started with cutting things out in After Effects. All right, that's today's quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you learned something, and if you need more help, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Again, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my face because you're not getting it back, so I hope it was worth it. And I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You will make some gains, I promise. All right, goodbye.
Goodbye. Where's my lens cap? Bye. Put the place up.